Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another ultra rare Class B camper van value from Parkway RV Center. Got in a really nice 1998 Road Trek 190 popular. Uh, and get this, folks 77,000 miles. You know, it's hard to find a 2008 Road Trek with 77,000 miles, much less a 98 model. Uh, got the 5.2 liter. Uh, Magnum V8, or for, if you're an old school guy like me, the 318 cubic inch V8 by Dodge. Built on a one ton Dodge chassis. So you've got the heavier duty transmission, rear end, and uh, running gear. Tires look great. Got a six gallon water heater. It's a good looking little camper van, folks. These things are one of the most popular uh, RVs on the used market. And one of the most hardest to find as well. Uh, when these things were brand new, I mean, heck, you could buy a Class A for what these things cost brand new. But So obviously they didn't sell as many of them new as they did a Class C or a Class A, but everybody loves them. They get great fuel mileage. You're going to get right around 15 miles per gallon, just like a full-size conversion van. I think somebody's put some meteor-sounding exhaust on it, got a little rumble to it, which probably help your fuel mileage and power. Look at the body on this thing, folks. The paint, the finish. For a 98 model, this thing is in great condition. Tires look good. The dash air is ice cold and it pretty much keeps the entire camper van comfortable. You can park these in a regular parking spot. Folks, if you can drive an SUV or a minivan, you can drive our pickup truck, you can drive this little motor home right here and park it without a problem. Easy to drive, easy to park. Maybe that's why they're so popular. Not to mention, perfect couples motorhome. Either one of the couple can drive it. If you're a 16-year-old driver with the ink still wet and your driver's license, you can still you could probably drive this camper van. And you know, if you're on up there in your 90s and you can still drive, you you could probably drive this one too. I mean, um, just a very versatile vehicle. You can use it for day trips. You can use it for a traveling van, use it for events, and much more. I mean, they're very, very versatile vehicle. You don't have to use them to camp in. Maybe that's why they're so popular. I've sold more of these than I can count to people just wanting to travel and be able to travel with a bathroom and with a small kitchen. So if they want to have a picnic somewhere, they can. If they got to stay overnight, a lot of times you'll see these parked at hotel, at hotels. I mean. Or you see plenty of them at the campground, too. Very low maintenance. It's all fiberglass roof, so you don't have anything to worry about up there. Um, let's look inside this little camper van. We did put new carpet in here. It's got brand new carpet. You don't have to worry about that. Point out one thing right here. And this right here, it's not soft. It's just the finish on the wood. Only thing I can figure is you can see it lines up perfectly with that window. Maybe that was parked with that in the sunlight for a long period of time. And it ain't the finish on the wood. It's the only thing I can figure. Doesn't hurt it. It's probably been like that for years. It's a cosmetic issue. But it's there. Um, got some books and manuals and stuff right here on the seat. I just want to make you aware of that. I don't want any surprises any more than you do. Both these front seats swivel around for party seating. And you've got a fold-up table right here so you can have eating service for two people. Up here in the front cab, these are very comfortable captain chairs. They look just like 77,000 mile seats should look like, which is immaculate. Power windows, power locks, 77,100. 76 miles, no check engine lights, no ABS lights, no warning lights of any kind. That dash air is ice cold. The cup holders look good, got real wood. You don't see that anymore. Dash looks good, windshield looks good. Um, mirrors look good. Wow. Of course, all road treks have their uh, signature triple skylights in the front. No signs of leak damage around them. Got curtains where you can close them off. Kitchen area. You've got a uh, gas electric refrigerator that works great on gas and electric. You've got a stove top, microwave, 
The unit's got a water heater, it's got a furnace, it's got an air conditioner, it's got everything a big motor home's got, just shrunk down, easy to drive and park package. Now folks, I want to go ahead and tell you, we've already checked this unit out. Everything works. It's ready to go. Um, you know, just, just try to give us a, a day or two notice if you're going to come pick it up so we can just go through it real quickly, make sure everything's still good, and um, get my uh, cleaning crew to, to give it a spruce up and it'll be ready to go. Got a window unit AC, and that's what I love about these road tracks, folks, because you're not talking about a big area back here. You don't need that big 13,500 rooftop air for this small area because it's overkill. Not only that, but when you've got that thing sticking up on your roof, you're uh, hurting your aerodynamics, you're burning more fuel, and that plastic shroud you got to replace every two or three years. Um, and those things are a couple hundred bucks plus labor. Versus one of these, and this is probably a five or an 8,000 BTU window unit, works perfectly. And it does a great job cooling off in here. It's all you need. And if it ever goes bad, folks, you just go to Walmart or Lowe's, spend a couple hundred dollars, buy you another one, slide it in there. You're good to go in 10, 15 minutes. It's as easy as that. Versus an RV air, which you're going to spend seven or eight hundred dollars on, plus pay them two, three hundred dollars to install it. Uh, this in the back, you make two twin beds or one queen size bed. These here are the extra cushions to make your bed. These are all look like brand new. I say somebody had these made, took the cloth out, put vinyl cushions, which makes sense. Um, you do have a bathroom with a shower. Open here, got a private RV toilet. And I'm gonna try to show you this the best I can with one hand, because keep in mind I'm holding the camera. What you do, and, th and this is, may not be exactly how it's going to look, but it's just to give you an idea. You open that up, we're kind of unlevel, so I don't know how good that's going to stay. But you open that up, it gives you a privacy barrier. You've got a shower curtain right here that goes all the way around this area. And I'm going to try to back up and show it to you. You can see the shower curtain rod that goes around the vent. Your shower curtain goes all the way around that. You've got that drain in the floor, and you take your shower. Now, is it something you want to use every day? Probably not, but it's something to use if you have to, and chances are this thing probably hasn't been used much. Most people hardly ever use the showers in these things, but it's there if you need it. Um, and it does have holding tanks, black water holding tank, gray water holding tank, and fresh water potable tank. Got a big closet right here, tons of storage. See, the 190 popular, folks, is a, um, and it's got a solar charger, too. I thought I saw some panels on the roof. So, obviously, you've got solar panels. You've got a solar charger to keep your battery hot. Um, now, I don't know how big or how many watts it is, but uh, it'll probably give you a trickle charge, to say the least. And that's nice, that closet. See, a lot of these 190s have a third chair right here. Unless you've got somebody going with you, that's wasted space. So instead of the chair, this has got the closet. Plus, you've got your closet over here. That air feels great. So, you you know, for a small motor home, you got to realize this is only about 20, 21 foot long. Got a pretty decent amount of storage. You've got storage underneath your seats. And then over overhead, you've got quite a bit of storage too. So, folks, it's it's nice. Um, for what it is, the year model and the price, you know, it's been a while. For those of you who've watched my videos, it's been a while since I've had one of these vans this lower price. Got their entry door in the back too, so you can open it up on a pretty day, get some fresh air. Um, but yeah, it's been a while. Look at all that storage right there. You put your TV there, components, whatever you want to put. Anyway, folks, you know, these things aren't cheap. Uh, I know you're thinking $21.9 for $98, but, folks, this I'm not making hardly any money on this thing. These things are expensive, folks. They're expensive for dealers to buy them, and they're expensive for us to sell. And I'm not making much money considering the investment I have in it. Um, you'd be shocked at how little I was making, but it's still 21.9, folks. 
look look for these things with low miles like this try to find one for that and I know some of you are going to say hey NADA says this well folks call NADA up and sell, and tell them you want to find a 98 road trek 190 popular tell NADA to find you one with 77,000 miles checked out ready to go by certified RV techs for the same price for what they're saying it's worth and you know what they're going to do click they're going to hang up on you I've had customers do that before they don't buy and sell used RVs folks I do supply and demand dictates market value not some book with made up numbers um, now NADA is good if you need to finance one because it's an older motor home like any older motor home you're going to have to pay quite a bit of money down to finance it if you're going to finance it majority of my class B camper van buyers are cash buyers that seems to be the norm for some reason um, this is the nice van for the money I've sold them for a lot more that weren't this nice and had a lot more miles but 21.9 while it lasts folks now this unit does not have a generator doesn't need a generator um, you've got a solar charger you can run your fridge off propane your dash air and dash heat can cool this thing of course you've got a propane furnace that'll work off battery and propane as well your lights run off battery the only thing a generator is going to do would be run your roof air which you don't need while you're driving and uh, run your microwave now you can either put a big inverter in here to run a lot of that stuff or you could put you a portable generator or not even use it folks this thing probably hadn't had a generator in 15 years and it obviously hadn't stopped anybody from enjoying it um, because unless you're going to boondock camp why do you need a generator in a class B camper van the dash air dash heat's going to keep you comfortable so I always wondered that and it's funny because the ones you do see with generators they'll be like this one it'll be a 98 model it'll have like 80 hours on the generator because they never had much of a reason to use it anyway folks for a nice older van this is clean really low miles clean anybody be proud to own it 21.9 it's already checked out it's ready to go what all you get for that of course you get this really nice 77,000 mile class b camper van let us know if you want to come get it i mean we'll go through it again real quick make sure everything's still good on it because people do walk in and out of these a lot and um you know you never know i'd rather be safe than sorry but at least that way you know everything's good and it'll be cleaned up so that'll be fresh so come on and get it folks 21.9 while it lasts uh, once you arrive here of course let us know you're coming so we can schedule an RV tech to give you your walk through and try to give us enough time to like I said to buzz through it real quick make sure everything's still good and um, clean it and once you arrive here at your appointed time the RV tech uh, will go through it with you, show you how to operate everything, show you everything works on it, um, answer any questions you have, show you any repairs he had to make, which I don't think they had to make any significant repairs on this camper van, but, but he'll show you just in case I missed something. And all that's included for that 21 nine price, plus you get 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide. Uh, but that's also included with it and more uh, you get a 30 or 45 day drive out tag you get a starter kit with all your camping essentials and much more 21.9 haggle free firm i can't find these vans folks i'm almost out of them i specialize in them and i and i send buyers all over the country to buy these vans i've sent people as far away as california to buy these vans before and drive them back that's how hard they are to find now would i do that with a class a or a class c motorhome no but these little class B camper vans are just, there's probably a hundred buyers for every one of these that's on the market. So keep in mind, these things normally once posted online are gone in a matter of days. So, and I've sold these little class B camper vans as fast as 40 minutes after posting online, after posting the video. So please, the common sense folks, but please call ahead make sure this van's still available before you drive any significant distance down here and, i mean and don't wait and call a week before you decide to come down folks because it'll be gone in a week uh wait and call right before you plan on leaving your house and we'll tell you if it's available and if it's got a deposit on it or not because i do not delete the units from the website until the deal is closed 
and folks I do not uh, never I never delete my YouTube videos so uh, I use them because Google owns YouTube and it helps my Google search rankings plus I've got 2400 videos folks a lot of people use them for information even after the vehicles long sold the people that buy them and, and people that are interested in a similar model use my video for information I've got no problem with that you know Road Trek of course the most popular class B motor home manufacturer of all time more road treks have been built and sold in the United States than any other brand of camper van. And that record is going nowhere anytime soon. So folks, give us a call. 706-965-7929. Of course, that big D on the back. I know they're kind of dramatic about it, but my shop guys put it there to say that it's already been checked out. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they just didn't put a check on it or something, but I guess, <laughs> I guess they're proud of it. Um, 706-965-7929 uh, call before coming make sure it's available uh, this unit's going on several of the most popular websites for used motorhome shoppers on the internet so if you're looking at the big sites folks you're going to run across it multiple times as a matter of fact but keep in mind you're running across it so are a lot of other class B camper van shoppers and these things with this low of miles are very very few and far between in this price range Thank you for watching. Uh, nationwide delivery is available. We did drive this 600 miles, by the way. So obviously it runs and drives great. There's no engine lights on, nothing like that. Um, but if you got any questions about it, call us 706-965-7929. If you've got one of these for sale in this nice of condition, year doesn't bother me. Mileage doesn't bother me on these little vans. It, it, the condition is what I look for. If it's not nice, I don't buy it to sell to my customers. So if, you, if it's not at least an 8 or 9 out of 10, don't call me because I'm not interested in the project at any price. But if you've got one of these for sale, I will make you a very generous cash offer for one of these vans. And I don't care how far away. And the same also goes for late model, high top, or low top conversion vans. If you've got one for sale, say 2002, 2003 and newer, Give us a call and I'll make you an offer for that as well. Um, we sell a lot of these vans. They're hard to find. They're easy to sell, but very, very hard to find. So if you've got one, you don't want to deal with putting it on the internet, dealing with the scams and all that stuff, folks, I'll pay you cash money for it and I'll even come pick it up. So the only thing we ask is that it is as nice or nicer as the ones I publish online because while I'll trade for anything, even stuff needing work, when it comes to actually buying something for resale, folks, 40 after 50 years in business, our customers deserve and expect the best, and I only buy the best to resale to them. I don't buy projects. I don't buy neglected RVs. If they're not nice, I'm not interested, period. And I know a lot of dealers that if they can make money on it, they'll buy it. They don't care what the condition is. I'm the opposite. Like I said, I would rather pay more and get a nicer camper van to sell to my customers anyway give us a call folks we'll work out a deal if you've got one for sale uh, nationwide deliveries available as I was saying earlier we do have limited very limited in fact I've only got one lender that will go back to 1998 but they're going to want quite a bit of money down I'd say at least 40 50 percent so keep that in mind uh, and that's with approved credit only you can work we're happy to work with your own bank or credit union as well folks uh, however we can help you folks as far as securing a loan, we're more than happy to do it. Um, or are you welcome to go through our lender as well. Thank you for watching. This is a nice van. It really is. I think whoever looks at this thing, come look at it, come drive it, spend some time with it, get to know it a little bit before you decide to buy it. I think you're going to be impressed. It's one of those vans, the more you look at it, the more you like it. The more you see how well it's been taken care of. And that's the secret to buying any used vehicle, folks. And, and I've, this is a hard-earned lesson for me over the years, as I'm sure it is for many of you. But when you buy one that's being neglected, you're inheriting somebody else's problems. When you buy one like this that somebody's took care of, I'm going to tell you that you're normally getting a very good RV. Now, it's a 98. It's 21 years old. It's not new. It's got that little spot on the wood I showed you. Um, cutting boards got a few little cuts on it where somebody's obviously used it for its intended uh, purpose and that's to cut something with but cosmetic stuff like that is part of buying it is why you're paying $21,900 and not $80,000 $90,000 for it 
Um, so that's part of it. But we've already checked all the RV components. We checked the water, propane, fridge on both gas and electric, furnace, air, uh, running, driving, the vents, the drawers, cabinets. We've checked all that, folks. Everything's good to go. So all we ask, try to give us a day or two notice so we can bust through it real quick, make sure everything's still good, clean it. And uh, when you get here, of course, to pick it up, my RV tech will do a walkthrough with you, show you how to operate everything, show you everything works, get 21 nights of free camping, um, and much, much more. So you get a lot of nice features for 21.9. You know, we've been doing this for 50 years, folks. We have no haggle prices. We have no commission salespeople. We have no added fees. 21.9 is a price plus applicable sales tax. If you need to know how much your sales tax will be, because sales tax laws are complicated, they vary from state to state. In some states, they even vary county to county. It's weird, but we've run across a little bit of everything and, and ever since we started advertising on the Internet years and years ago and selling all over the country. So just to get up-to-date uh, information, Contact your sales department, tell them where you live, and they will give you the correct amount that you will pay and when and where you have to pay it, whether it's to us, whether it is to your county's tag office, to the bank, etc. We'll answer all your questions. That way everybody's on the same page, everybody. Um, everybody, there's no surprises for anybody involved. Thank you again, folks, for watching. Come out, look at it, come test drive it. You'll be impressed. Thank you again and look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.